Yo. Hi everybody, I thought I'd do an update on the planet tank. I did a water change yesterday of uh, 10 gallons. It's a 15 gallon tank. I also put my uh, mirror that I had Santa Fe glass. They do a really good job. They cut my glass piece for me and they rounded all, all the edges. They probably think I'm a little crazy, but I actually secure the, uh, the glass to the back of the tank with um, clear duct tape because duct tape makes it clear. And I put pieces on the side and on the top and bottom and I bring the side pieces down around the side of the tank. You can't really see it. I mean, it's not something you're going to notice unless you're actually looking for it. But most of my tanks have got glass in the back of them. If you guys have been following my channel, you've, I'm sure, seen that. But uh, I'm a commercial mower, so, you know, we've been really busy this year. And mowing season literally just in. And between mowing and the chickens and the kids and school and everything, which just has been so crazy that I haven't had a chance to do anything. Uh, but the plants are doing fairly well. The dwarf hair grass didn't really do anything. As you can see, there's just like a few wisps here and there. This is a little chain sword. And this is one of my shrimp. I've got a blue shrimp and another snowball. I saw them yesterday, but they're pretty good at hiding. So unless they want you to see them, you pretty much don't. <laughs> this big plant in the background is... Focus. Is, um... There it goes. Is, uh... Amazon Sword. It's gotten quite a bit bigger and taller. This is the Temple Compactia. It's doing fairly well. Uh, I forgot what this little plant is called. It's doing alright. It's gotten uh, bushier. So I'm not sure if it's supposed to grow tall or if it's supposed to be bushy like this. It's not a plant I've kept before, so I'm not sure. This is my fluffy plant. It's gotten taller, but it has uh, thinned out a little bit. So, there's that. And these angelfish that are in here will not be staying in here. This was a grow out tank, although I am keeping this white one here with almost transparent fins. And I think I'm going to keep, um, there's another one in here that has lots of spots on. I might keep him. The rest are going to go to, uh, my local fish store, Live Art Aquatics. If you're, uh, in Independence and haven't checked out their store, I, it's a really cool store and sh they really know what they're talking about. So, uh, I found out that the bacterial what I had in the tank was a bacterial bloom, and it's actually caused by uh, low water flow. So I changed my filter. This is the intake. It's an aqua clear for up to 30 gallons. Uh, it's doing really well. It's uh, And I also put in this filter here. This is actually the black thing in the back. Is a uh, UV filter. It's for one of the smaller things. I think this one does up to... I want to say... 50 gallons, but I can't remember. It's, I've had this UV filter forever in a day. It, they're really kind of expensive. This one costs about $50, and then you've got to change the uh, light in them uh, twice a year, and they're 20 bucks. but I'll tell you, they are so worth the money. If you have pea green water or if you have, you know, algae in your water, it'll, it'll take care of that. Pea green water, it generally takes care of in about three days. I mean, the, the things are fantastic. Uh, yeah, it took care of my bacterial bloom about a week and a half that I had. Uh, I did a couple water changes, and of course I was, I'm using this fit flourish excel. But this stuff also kills algae. Why, I'm not sure, but it does. You do have to follow the instructions with, on this flourish, because if you don't, you add too much in the water, you can actually gas your fish, fish and kill it. I almost did that on my other tanks. I put too much in. Of course, having this air bubbler in the back would pretty much probably put a stop to that if you did overdose a little bit, but you still want to be careful. But the uh, the tank's doing really well. Um, I'm really enjoying it. I'm kind of disappointed with the hair grass, but yeah, I, I do understand that stuff's kind of hard to grow. But yeah, I haven't had any real problems since the bacterial bloom. I, I had a little bit of allergy on the glass. That's Mason, Mason, mostly my fault for uh, not turning the light off in a timely manner. Sometimes it's on a little too long. Thought I saw my blue shrimp, I guess not. But I hope you guys enjoy the uh, update and you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I have two more fish tanks to clean today. I did this one yesterday, so <laughs> my chicken upstairs is throwing a fit. But, uh, so, anyways, I got my salt water and my fresh water to do. So I hope you guys enjoy the, day, the update and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.